Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Lorelei. This is Chapter 3, A Lonely Seashore. We've woken up back in the house. Hoping this time we get to meet whoever wanted to meet us. Don't be shy. Come in, Lorelei. I'm cooking you a stew. What? It's about time you had a nutritious home-cooked meal, don't you think? But, what is this place? And who are you? This house is my humble kingdom. And I'm your new best friend. She's the queen of maggots. Duh. I knew your mother. And your father. And now, I'm getting to know you, Lorelei. Where am I? You have a funny way of getting to know people. Throw them in a cave and see what happens. Piano? Can't interact with it. Wheelchair? Hmm. Might just be horrific imagery, I don't know. Oh, there she is on her throne. They call me the Queen of Maggots. I rarely let people in. They have no business here in my place of rest. But I thought that for you, I'll bend the rules and give you some of that motherly love poor Miranda failed to deliver. For me? What? See, I've been around a long time. Born out of darkness to burrow my tunnels deep in the wicked human hearts. But your heart is different, Lorelei. Me? Because you're a survivor. A survivor? I mean, I died, but... I certainly did not survive my throat slashed open with a sharp piece of blood. I'm glad she brought it up. Sometimes dying is not the end. Don't you know that, Lorelai? Bullshit! Where's my dad then? Where's mom? Gone. Now I'm gone too. Perhaps you are stronger than them. After all, when someone's will is strong enough, even the death cannot stop them. Are you gonna make I us immortal? Really and who are you, really? Who do you see when you look in the mirror, Lorelei? Just a normal person with simple ambitions for a good, quiet life. I don't know. I see someone who still hasn't figured out who they are and what they want. Okay. I see a dead girl. Very literal interpretation of the question there. I see someone who almost got away, but they were fooling themselves that this could ever work. Maybe I am a survivor. Been through so much shit, but I'm still holding on. I don't like any of these overly wordy answers. Maybe I am a survivor. Maybe I am a survivor. I've been through so much shit, but I'm still holding on. When dad found out he was sick, he fought till the end. 
And when he died, I promised him I'd do the same. I'd fight for my dreams and make them real. And be the person he'd want me to grow into. A decent human being. But then you died. Wah, wah. But what does it matter now? I can't turn back the time. No, but with my help. There is still something you can do. Let's take a little walk, shall we? Where are we going? What, through this glowing door? Hey, there's me, crying, when I found my mother dead. <laughs> What's so funny? I don't like that laugh. <laughs> yeah, let's relive that moment again. I'm not sure we have the same sense of humor. This last memory of your life. Pretty dreadful, even for my standards. <laughs> What's he doing to Beth? Is that what she saw? I believe he will drown her, Lorelei. You'd like to stop that man, wouldn't you? Yes! Yeah. But how? It's too late. And what if I told you that it was not? We gotta kill some parasites. What? I'll bring you back to life. You'll carry on right from where you died. Then you can pull Bethany out of that evil man's fingers. Sounds good, doesn't it? When you make a deal with the devil, the devil always wins. I'm not sure if I can trust you. You have got nothing to lose, Lorelei. Uh, At least the first time you do this. Well, maybe. How would I? Oh, it's easy. Anyone can do this. Oh, okay. But first, I want you to fetch something for me. It's not ten wolf pelts, is it? Someone's been playing a lot of Skyrim lately. All right, what is it? All right. I'm not saying that nerdy shit. I just need one final ingredient for my stew. A fin of shark. Just a slice. Really? What? You want me to kill a shark? Oh. There's one already dead not far from here. Where? Look for the lonely seashore. Okay, well, by already dead, do you mean actually alive? Because I am already dead too. Fine, let's go. Is it the painting? What a lonely seashore. We use the painting, okay. Starfish. Oh, you poor thing. You belong in the ocean, not here. Put in the ocean. We're gonna get karma for this. I'm examining it. That's what happens. Okay. Okay, wait. Use starfish on sea. I got an achievement. You belong in the sea.
Karma plus one. What am I earning karma for? Golden ending? Shovel. Here. Let's take it. Take the shovel, please. Please start taking weapons. We don't know what we're gonna find. Shed. That's a huge padlock for such a tiny shed. Oh, is it? Oh, would be a shame if someone broke no. it. Oh. <laughs> I guess we gotta find a key for that. Okay. Car jack. This could be useful. Take it. Plank. Looks steady enough. Well, okay. Are we going inside the ship? That was an odd transition. Okay. I think there's something stuck inside the shark's jaws. There's something inside the shark. If only I could get these jaws open. Use the car jack. Get it. Camcorder. Great, now I can okay. record our experience being dead. Well, this is it. But I only want a slice. Shovel. That's not gonna work. Oh, my mistake. I don't even want to know how this ended up inside the shark. The camcorder? It probably ate somebody. Uh, okay, we got the camcorder. Maybe we use the camcorder for something. I don't know what we would use it on. We gotta get inside the shed somehow, I bet. Use the camcorder on the shed. Huh? Huh. Oh, roots. I saw this spot on the video. Could there be something buried underneath? Use the shovel on the roots. The skeleton looks ancient. Use. Poor chap. He's got a dagger. Stabbed right in the gut. Get the dagger. Perfect. I could really use a knife. Let's take it. Let's cut the fin with it. Yeah, I no longer have the shovel. Why would we take it with us? This shark's definitely gonna come back to life. A hundred percent guaranteed. Check it. Use knife on Finn. This is what I came for. Now. How do we leave this place? That's a good question. I still got the camcorder. Do I use it here? Oh, it just shows footage of the roots. Shark meat. It's a slice of raw shark meat for Queen Stew. Yeah, why couldn't she do this herself? Ah! It's blocking my way. Get out of my way! Okay. Is it a key? I guess we'll take it. Well, aren't you a very strange key? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it certainly is. But let's go use it. Here goes. Hello, shed. Let's get inside you. Maybe there's a painting? Hey, I got your damn shark fin. I've got it. 
Yes. Put it in the pot, would you? Yeah, yeah. I'll just do everything around here. No problem. What is this for? What did you need shark fin for? What magical properties does a shark Eat, fin have? My child. This hot stew will make your heart beat again. I've what's, never had shark before. What's the rest of the recipe? It's quite nice. Well, that's not all that's in there. Indeed. And should you ever come back, there's plenty left for later. It would be a shame to waste it. It's time for you to have your revenge. Rosebury Lane. God, I hate that place. But I'm ready. This is your second chance. Don't waste it. Oh, uh, we're not. Oh, there it is. Hey, can I talk to you still? No. And I can't go back inside. All right, let's go. I'm coming to save you, Bethany. Rosebury Lane. That is it. I got an achievement. Lonely Seashore. Chapter four, already? A second chance. Wow, chapter three was really short. So is it just us that comes back or I guess Zach and Miranda are also dead. <laughs> Winding up for it. Get Bethany. That would have been bad. Yeah, it's just a pocket knife. Wait, Zach's back too. He came back too. Did the Queen of Maggots make a separate deal with him? I'm trying to think about this in terms of like events leading up to the Cat Lady, right? I know I called this the Cat Lady sequel in my first video, but that's because, you know. I mean, I guess it's technically a prequel. We don't know yet, though, is the big thing. Got theories. I give up. Let's call the police. I can't even call the police. They'll just take Bethany and put her in foster care. This is rough. This is rough. I'm not sure what to say. I mean, we got two dead bodies in the apartment. On the other hand, John doesn't have a job, so it's not like his employer's going to keep looking for him. He doesn't have any friends, probably, because he's a piece of shit. So, you know what? I just had a flashback to when I tried to call the police in the cat lady. And I'm calling an audible on this one. I can't even call the police. They'll just take Bethany and put her in foster care. Yeah, we can't, I can't do it. I can't take that risk. Just look at her. She needs me. Oh, this is a copy of the cat lady right there. Let's just try to calm down. I need foreground. a moment to collect my thoughts and figure out what to do next, I guess. There's two copies of the cat lady, actually. <laughs> How's your head, Zach? Yeah, he hasn't said anything. This is a cool place. What do you actually, like, do? I'm running away tonight with Bethany. Okay. How's your head? How's your head, Zach? It's 
All right. I think. So wait, maybe he didn't die. It was die. just a little bump, really. And my glorious hat took most of the impact, too. You saved us back there. He didn't die. Me? Nah. I just... Oh, shut up. You did. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead now. Let's just agree it was a team effort. Except you really had no business in helping me. Well, maybe I did. Okay. Zack seems like a good dude. But I'm just so suspicious. Like, pretty much every male character in this series ends up being a piece of shit. So, I mean, like, you can make an argument for Joe, but... Like, it really depends on how you play Joe, I guess, when you play Downfall. This is a cool place. What do you actually do? Why is everything in life got to be so fucking hard? Okay, let's calm down the angst. Uh, this is a cool place. What do you actually do? This is a cool place. What do you actually do? Oh, I make video games. Really? That's awesome. Is this self-insert well, character? They're pretty shit. To be honest. No, they're not. They can't be that bad. They're good. I mean, people are buying them, right? Some people enjoy them. That's true. But I'm hardly Hideo Kojima. Well, I don't know who this Heidi Kojima is. Oh, come on. But I'm sure one day you'll make a great successful game. You made a Dark Souls reference earlier? You, you don't know who well, Kojima is? Of course. Is? As long as you put your heart and soul into it. In my experience, the heart and soul means nothing without a million dollars spent on advertising. Maybe you're only saying that because your heart's been somewhere else. <laughs> I wonder where. What games did you make? What games did you make? I mean, I admit I don't know much about it. Don't say the cat lady. My dad had a console, and we used to play together back in the day. You've probably never heard of them. There's thousands of indie games out there these days. Oh, come on. I want to know. What was the first one about? It's called... The Doubt Dog Gentleman? Oh, the... Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's about this chap who really loves his dog. But it gets kidnapped. Lost in vivo? By cats. Oh. I got an achievement, the dog gentleman. What? We get to play it? All you do is run left and right and, and press the attack button to attack with your leash. Uh. Who do you fight? Oh, but luckily your leash attacks are powerful enough to cut them in half. Oh. Cool, <laughs> oh boy, that was a boss battle right there. What other games did you make? What other games did you make? Oh, you want to hear more? Okay. Two years ago, I made this odd little thing called Ice Cube Battles. Uh huh. I wanted to tap into that stupid everyday object simulator craze. No. You made a game about ice cubes. Mm hmm. And they fight until they melt. I'm just trying to imagine it. I got another achievement. Ice cubes. This seems kind of random movement. Ah. Sounds kind of silly to me. It's supposed to be silly. 99 cents. I mean, sure, it might not be the best game ever, but... Actually, yeah, it sucks balls, really. I mean, I don't want to say. Not too proud of that one. Uh, you gotta make some shitty games before you can make some good ones. What other games did you make? What other games did you make? Let's find out. What? After the dog gentleman, I felt like I needed to make something short and snappy to generate some cash. Because for whatever reason, only five people bought it. So I made the herring strangler. A game where your herring 
and you escaped from a fishmonger to jump back into the sea. And how did that go down? It did not make it into the featured section. Let's just say that. But at least I learned games about fish do not sell. What other games did you make? What other games did you make? How, how many times can uh, I ask this? I don't want to bore you. Oh, come on. I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't interested. Fair enough. Well, I once tried to make something deeper. Something meaningful. And that's how Cadaver's blood came to be. Except the more I worked on it, the more it became a first-person zombie shooter. These are at least popular, right? Oh, yeah. It might have got overwhelmingly negative reviews, but still. 10,000 copies sold in the first week. In my book, that's a job well done. What other games did you make? <laughs> I actually made this great game once. It was pretty fantastic. You wake up on an island, and you're all naked, except for a rock and a torch. There's other players that try to kill you and steal your shit, too. And as you go on exploring and gathering resources, you learn how to survive, build bases, craft stuff, that sort of thing. So, Rust. Put on an island. Just as I was about to release it, some other guys stole my idea and beat me to it. Aw, what a shame. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, Dust would have been the greatest game I ever made. It, he is talking about Rust. I guess Rust is on an island, isn't it? What other games? What other games did you make? How many of these are there? I've rumbled on enough. I mean, I agree. I'm sure you've had enough listening about it. Why is everything in life gotta be so fucking hard? Why is everything in life got to be so fucking hard? You just came back to life. All I ever wanted was to have a normal, happy life. I shouldn't have to worry about my mum's drinking and John harassing me. They're both dead. And I shouldn't have to look after a baby that isn't even mine. She's your sister. It's not always gonna be this way. Then why is everything I do a fucking failure? You know, that's what happens. You're gonna fail. You're gonna fail ten times, a hundred times, maybe even a thousand times. But that's okay. Failure isn't permanent. You get back up, and you keep going. And this time, you're gonna be stronger, wiser. And you're gonna be better. You wanna live your own life and be free of the past? Then stop worrying about failing. Stop being afraid. Just love the dream you want to achieve. And never, ever give up. Why do you talk like some old Chinese wise man? You're only a couple years older than me. I... I watch motivational videos on YouTube. Oh, no. Sounds like you're giving yourself a pep talk there. Yeah, well, do me a favor and keep that crap to yourself. <laughs> it's good advice, though. Thanks. It's good advice, though. Thanks. I'm running away. Tonight. With Bethany. But... Where are you gonna go? Are you sure it's a good idea? What choice do I have? They'll take Bethany from me if I stay. We won't let that happen. You're her sister. And you're an adult, aren't you? Only just. It's still pretty obvious that she'd be better off in your care. I mean, she's got no one else left in the world, has she? Yeah... Neither do I. Actually, no. We have you. Maybe a little early to say that, Lorelai. Maybe he's not ready for the responsibility of taking care of two additional people. On the other hand, this is very self-pitying to say, and neither do I. So I don't know which one I want to say. Can I opt for silence? 
We have you. Actually, no. We have you. Thank you, Zack. It's okay for you. I'd a lasso the moon. Yeah. Uh huh. I just think you deserve better. That's all. Why are you being so nice to me, Zack? Because, you know, everyone else seems to be a twat lately. You could have said no when I came asking for help, but you didn't. Why? Well, if a lifetime of playing video games teaches you one thing, it's that the hero always rescues the princess. That's not the only reason, though, is hmm. it? <laughs> Oh, man. Odd thing to say. I don't know. Zack, no. You do. Do you really want me to say it? Say it, Zack. Say it! You know? You're right. This isn't a good time for this conversation. It's all right, Zack. I like it, too. It's not the good- It's not a good time for this conversation. You know, you're right. This isn't a good time for this conversation. There it is. This baby would have been crying the entire time. Oh, can you not smell it? Poop Jesus. yourself. Did they feed you that stinking curry for dinner too? Oh. Yep. Code brown situation. And I'm guessing you don't have any clean nappies in your flat anywhere. Sorry. I stopped using them a long time ago. Fuck. What do we do? Well, I can't get them from my flat. Because I really don't want to go back there. We'll have to improvise. We need to clean her up and change her nappy. Ah, uh, sounds tricky. Look. I've washed a bunch of old women today. How hard can it be with a baby? Well, I don't know. I'm a total noob with babies, remember? He plays video games. Do you have anything here I can use? Other than my beanie hat? Uh, no, nope, I don't think so. We're not using your you. beanie hat. We're not using your beanie this hat. This could totally work. We're not using his beanie what? hat. No. Oh, it's joking. a limited edition Breaking Bad beanie. We cannot use that beanie. You're gonna say no to a baby? Yes! Fine. Don't use the baby! Right. It'll work. I just need to make some adjustments. Just go get, go get! Do you mind watching her while I have a look around? Why don't you go down no. to the corner store? Go ahead. I'll buy him another one when this is over. If I can afford it. Yeah, maybe look around on eBay a little bit. <sighs> this place is like a mirror reflection of our flat. Oh, interesting. Except there's an additional door. George's bedroom. It's George! This room belongs to Zach's flatmate. I'm pretty sure he's out right now. Let's read his diary. Box of tissues. Right by the computer. Hmm. Imagine that. No, there's no need to be judgmental about it. It's just a box of tissues. It's like she heard me. I'm sure you won't miss these tissues. These will be perfect for wiping Bethany's bum. Oh, okay. What's in here? Bathroom? Oh, kitchen. Uh, kitchen towel. Or paper towel? Are they called kitchen towels in the UK? We call them paper towels here. This looks like it could absorb liquid really well. I remember TV ads for this stuff. Apparently it can absorb insane amounts of liquid. The thing about... Using a paper towel to wipe someone, though, is that you can't flush it. 
Someone's been playing with fridge magnets. Oh, it says Lorelei. And then down here it also says douchebag. Nice. What's in the fridge? Huh. I guess Zach really likes me. No, he just tackled and killed your stepdad for no reason. Well, I guess he's not your stepdad because technically they didn't get married, but whatever. S stepdad figure. Toilet. No toilet paper. Boys will be boys, I guess. But don't lump us all in with this mess right here, okay? I always have toilet paper, all right? I don't need to go right now. Okay, well. This is where Zach keeps his toiletries. Scissors? Yes. I think I will need a pair of scissors. Can we not cut up the beanie? This is a cool shower, though. Where does that pipe go? That pipe goes into, like, the side of it. Oh, well. It's not really worth overanalyzing, is it? Let's go into the hallway. Living room? This is a nice flat, as they say. What's happening? Oh, just took a while to load. Ah, nice TV. Pretty nice. Zach's front door. Open door, look through people. That's what I was expecting. That pig thing to come back. Okay, uh, so we just open door. I'll better stay here where it's safe. Okay, well, I, I, I don't know what plans you have. Okay. Ah, let's see. Combine the scissors with the beanie. Do we use it with the beanie? Now, let's make two holes for Bethany's tiny legs. I can't believe we're doing this. Do Done. I, I just assume that we don't have a choice. Ugh, cut up beanie. Combine. Wait. No, don't use the paper towels. That's not it. Use the soft tissue. Nope. We have to combine the paper towels with the These kitchen towels should keep Bethany dry. Okay. Perfect. So are we gonna throw it away? This is like a one-use item, just FYI. Go down to the corner. Oh, look at him. He's actually quite good looking in his own weird way. What, that? what the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'll use these to clean Bethany up. Aww. You two look very cute. Uh-huh. <laughs> and look, she stopped crying. Yep. You okay? She's not ready to... Yeah. Well, I am. But uh huh. The smell is strong with this one. Oh. I've got everything. Give her to me, Zach. It cut it off. It cut off the the impersonation, so it sounded even worse. One happy baby. Not a happy beanie, though. It boggles my mind how such a cute little thing can produce so much stink. could that be? At this hour? No idea. Maybe it's your flatmate. You just come back. Is this flatmate just a, a psychopathic asshole? George. Look through the people! Bear, look through that people. What's gonna happen in this room? It takes longer to load than the others. That makes me suspicious. Look through the people. That looks like a police officer. Who is it? Police, please open. Why did you answer? You should have had Zach 
ask who is it. Evening to you both. I'm Officer Manly. Oh. We've had a call from one of the neighbors. Apparently, there's been a domestic next door in Flot 7. You guys hear anything? Yes. I live in Flat 7. Right. What's your name? Laura Wood. And the chap? He a boyfriend of yours? I didn't like how you said that. Alright, um... Zach's my neighbor. Zach's my neighbor. Duh! Okie dokie. So, you wanna tell me what happened? And don't look so frightened. I'm here to help you, not shoot you. My mom hanged herself in the bathroom. I'm real sorry, Miss Wood. And then John came. He made fun of her, being dead. And who's John? Her partner. He'd always been horrible and violent to her, but she never did anything to stop it. Oh, I see. Carry on. Well, he attacked me and Zack. Knocked us both unconscious. And when I woke up, I saw John running a bath full of water. He had my baby sister and he was going to drown her. Jeez. <gasps> Why would he do that? You're, you're a police officer, not like <laughs> the town gossip. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that. I don't, I really don't know. He's mad. He's always hated her. Because he's a douchebag. <laughs> you know, douchebags. They're always pining to drown babies. He's always hated her. He's always hated yeah. He wouldn't have stayed with us if Mum hadn't gotten pregnant. To John... That little girl has always been just a nuisance. Wait, so that's his kid. The burden he wanted to be rid of. Right. Carry on. We tried to stop him, of course. Then he fell over and knocked his head on the loo. I think he's dead. It looked nasty. I just grabbed the baby and ran here. Why didn't you call the police? I... I didn't know what to do. And I was scared you'd take my little sister away and... Miss Wood, we are police officers, not baby snatchers. But... Where's the baby now? She's in my room. I thought you said you weren't baby snatchers. Why do I know where the baby is? Good. Here's what we'll do. You, young man, will stay here and watch the baby. Miss Wood? You will follow me. We're gonna join in with my partner inside your flat. You okay with that? I don't really want to go back there. But I guess there's nothing to be afraid of now. What if John meets the Queen of Maggots and she brings him back to life? <gasps> what if he's not dead? Oh, God. Follow me. What if he's not dead? I assume... You'd assume he's dead. He hit his head on the toilet. Blunt force trauma, right? Why you walk so weird, dude? Okay. There's no one here, Miss Wood. But... That's impossible. He didn't die. She was here. Hanged on the shower curtain. Well, there's blood on the toilet. That's where John hit his head. I told you. Where's your partner? Stay behind me, miss. Don't, don't sheath your gun. Oh. Kitchen. Let's move. Where's your partner?
Area clear. Let's move. What's going on? Have those knives always been there? There's one missing. There's a knife missing. It's my Danganronpa senses going off. <laughs> Notice things like Let's that. Let's check the bedroom. Okay. Yeah, after you! Why do I have to go in first? Games! That's John. Come back to life again to kill this piece of shit. This piece of shit. This little cockroach who won't die. Oh my god, what if the Queen of Maggots was just like, now John, you wanna come back to life and take revenge? And then we die, and she's like, so Lorelai, you wanna come back to life and take revenge? And we kill him again. And just it's just an eternal loop. Some time has passed. Our body got dumped on the side of the road. Are they even bothering to wait? Is that who is that? Is that Zach? Looks like he has a beanie on. But didn't we cut up the beanie? This. This bastard. We're gonna get you. He's just like, how can this drunk, useless, awful person kick everyone's ass, apparently? Well, we're back. This game's real good at making me mad. Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? Because you're a doll. Ah, uh, it's a compliment. Look at doll's head. Okay, what's that? There's a key. Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? I know. Locked. Yeah, it, that, it is a lock. Look at doll's hand. Miranda. Miranda Cold. Oh, Miranda Gold. Take cigarettes. Okay, I guess if we find a key, we'll come back and unlock the mannequin's head. I'll go to the graveyard in a second. Hmm. House. Roseberry Lane. Looking pretty nice. Pretty nice and creepy. What's to the right? Nothing. Okay, nothing to the right. Let's continue to the left. Hmm, wonder whose clothes these are. Bethany's outfit. Oh, oh Bethany, onesie. Bethany, my dear little sister. Should we take it? That's kind of weird. Why do we take her onesie? And then I guess Miranda's green dress that I don't remember her wearing and John's fucking I'm a piece of shit robe. Is that, that's mine. Wait, grave. There's a black cross on it, with stripes of red fabric wrapped around it. So that's mine. 
I'm guessing it follows my color scheme. What a tiny little coffin. That's Bethany's. I've seen that silly hat before. That's Zach's. And then this is this Miranda's. This cross has a noose hanging from it. This is Miranda's grave. Okay. I get it, but... Strange box. It looks like some sort of toy. Let's take it. What's in there? Huh? What? I'm not sure what that is, but umbrella. That's Zach's umbrella. What is it doing here? Zach's umbrella just happened to be your color scheme. He bought that for you, clearly. Hey, look, it's a clump of daddy long legs on the rock. You guys ever seen a clump of daddy long legs? It what looks you... like some sort of toy. So this is the only thing I can... I don't understand what this is. I switched it though, I, I flipped it over. Do you think maybe something has changed? Hello? Who are you? Just a secret admirer. <laughs> okay. What's this? Gift. Gift from a stranger. But why? A rose and a train car. It's the same kind I wear in my hat. Yeah, I mean, it's a rose. It's a red rose. Looks like one of Bethany's wooden toys. Okay, creep ass. What was that all about? Can I combine any of these items? Isn't it the brand that mom used to smoke? Oh, we match up. Okay, hang on. So we match up the items with the graves. So we got the cigarettes for Miranda. Bethany's onesie for Bethany. The umbrella for Zack? And the rose for me. Or a train car for Bethany? Train car, I think, for Bethany. So it's like one item that's associated with each person. I don't think we use the onesie. That doesn't really make any sense. Grave. Okay, so for me... Use Rose on Grave. For Bethany, train car. That's not gonna work. Onesie? Umbrella? This cross has a noose hanging from it. So Red's on Grave. What, what, what is that face on that key? Hmm. I wonder what it's for. Come on, Lorelai, keep up. Keep up, girl. Use it on the doll. Toy train. Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? So we combine the trains. Combine. That's not it. Oh, I'm sorry. Clearly that's not what we do. Combine, maybe the other way. Nope. Fine then. Oh, we, do we use it in the box? I think we put them in the box because there was already a train car in there, I believe. All oh, the items are gone. Okay.
Is there a button? The train's gone now. So it went from there into the building. Oh, I picked it up in the box. That's a lot of dust. Hope you don't have allergies. Nice job, Lorelai. Who are you? You know me? Who are you? The name's Jimmy. Jimmy the Traveler. Oh, brother. And now that you've opened the way, there's one place I'd like to show you. We can talk as we go. It's quite a trek, but it's worth it. And before you ask, yes, you can trust me. That's what that old hag said, too. I don't trust your text-to-speech oh, ass. She says a lot of things, but believe me, I am no friend of hers. That still doesn't make you a friend of mine. Sure, but what if I told you I found a way to destroy her? To end this nightmare once and for all and send us both back to the real world? Then I'd listen to you very carefully. Let's go then. It'll get dark soon. Uh Jimmy the Traveler, huh? What's your last name, Jimmy? Huh? So, where are we going? You want to tell me something about yourself? You want to tell me something about yourself? I mean, Jimmy the Traveler doesn't quite explain why you're here with me. In the afterlife. I... I travel in my sleep. Always have. What? Look, it used to be fun. I went to different places. Every night. At first I thought they were just dreams. Not real. But no. My body stayed in bed. But my mind, my spirit, or whatever. They were set free. So like astral projection? I, I was a ghost. But while you're asleep. Everything I saw happened somewhere. To someone. Then one night, I traveled here. And I can't wake up since. So, if you're the good guy, and she's evil, then why did she bring me back to life? Because, you know, that was kind of awesome. It's all part of the game she's playing. She knew you'd die again. Mm. And that you will have no choice but to do what she asks. And trust me, Everything she does comes with a price. Anyway, I don't want to try to convince you. You'll know when you see the real her. Yeah. Maybe. But when will I see the real you? The real me? Well, he's fast asleep in bed. Back in the real world. And mm. if he doesn't wake up anytime soon, He'll most certainly die. So are we there yet? Or, uh... Where are we going? So, where are we going? The tunnel. That's where the devil came from. Devil? You mean the Queen of Maggots? If you prefer. She has many names. But names are just names. They don't really matter. Wow, you sound just like her. Says Jimmy the Traveler. Says Jimmy the Traveler. Fair enough, Laura. Hey, I'm not 
not the one who said names don't matter. Okay, perhaps they do. A bit. What's in the tunnel? What's in the tunnel? That's where the real Queen of Maggots is. The real one? And has been since the dawn of time. The old woman is just the puppet. And her little house by the field? Not real. It felt very real to me. That's where Susan was. Sure. Right? But trust me. It's just a dream within a dream. The real Queen of Magic. <laughs> the real Queen of Magic? The real Queen of Maggots. What's she like? Does she like lasagna? That real Queen of Maggots. Tacos. What's her What's favorite she color? Like? What's her favorite show we'll she's been binging? Enough. I'm not really sure if I want to. No. Nobody wants to. But now that you're here, this is your only chance to win her wicked little game. How? By killing her. Once and for all. How can we kill something that doesn't even exist? I'm in. That one may seem friendly, but she hasn't fooled me. I don't want to kill her. What other names does she have? I want to find out. What other names does she have? Don't say Lorelei. People that come through here always want to know. And every time she gives a different answer. Huh. Actually, it's funny, but... I even heard her using the name Lorelei once. Oh. So... Okay, so... Things are all kind of screwed up in my head. For the series. How can we kill something that doesn't even... exist? Oh, she does exist. Hiding in the tunnel. The real her. But mate... You're just like the Queen of Maggots. All these words, but you're actually saying nothing. You want me to go inside the tunnel? Then you have to tell me what to do. I made a bomb. A bomb? Yeah, it's weak to fire. Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. Not a big fan of bomb. What if I say no? Then you will forever be her slave. Just like others before you. We are here. Take this with you. Here's the bomb and a lighter to light the fuse. Wait. Are you not going in with me? No. I wish I could. But I am not allowed to enter the tunnel. Why not? She'd sniff me out in an instant. I'm not dead like you. I'm only sleeping. Okay. I'm not sure I believe that, by the way. Alright, here we go. I like the red light. Don't come in. Stop! There's a danger keep out sign. Oh, brother. I thought I thought it just said me for a second. Someone's real self-absorbed. Met 37. Okay, so this is like a imitation of Living World Train. Rock. This rock could be useful. Let's take it. Valve. I wonder what it does. Let's try it. What did it do? Who knows? Damaged wall. There's something on the other side of the wall. I can hear noises coming from behind it. Okay. That's not gonna work. Not using the rock on the wall? Collapsed tunnel. The tunnel is blocked with a pile of bricks and rusty metal parts. There's no getting around this. At least not without using my bomb. Okay. Well, 
Oh, fuck it. Let's do it. I'll find another way to blow up Queen of Maggots. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, it's saving. Now I light the fuse. That's how this works. Now I light the fuse. Oh. That's how this works. Right? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. There's no going back oh, now. Great. He gave me a broken lighter. Asshole. Broken lighter, huh? Combine the rock with the lighter? That's not it. I don't know. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day, so I'm wearing something different. Let's use the rock on the soup can grenade. Oh, this is... I don't know if I would do this, actually. I was thinking maybe a toss at it from a distance. Lorelei, wild and out, hole. It's big enough for me to get through. Yeah. Okay. That's what he said. Disconnected pipes. Middle part is falling off. I could probably fix this. This must be what the valve is for. It's the missing part of the machinery. I didn't have to look far for once. Where are we putting this pipe? Just in our inventory. Machinery. It's some kind of steam engine. It's so loud. It sure is. Bath full of duct tape. Should I take some with me? Yes. Wait. Is that duct tape? Why not? Yeah. We need. What? We need something to attach the pipe. Sticky. Okay. That's not gonna work. Okay. Use the duct tape on the pipes. Okay. It's secured. Good, good, good. Things have calmed down a bit. But, like, now what? <laughs> now, maybe the valve works. Maybe we can use the valve to get past the wreckage? Oh, or we can just gas ourselves. Let's go to the left. There's something up there. But what is it? It looks like a rose, like the one that you have in your hair. I can't reach. Okay, we need a stepladder or something to stand on. A chair, maybe. Get to work, Lorelei. Car. This one doesn't look completely broken. Maybe I could drive it? Do you have the keys? Even if it works, I can't drive it without a key. I'm glad you finally got there. Stretcher. Did it fall out of the ambulance? It's of no use to me. Hopefully not. Wait, wait, drip pole. It's part of the ambulance equipment. Take this, we can get the flower. Ambulance. It's blocking the tunnel exit. Good thing we'll get the rose to move it out of the way. Blocked. Okay. Maybe that's not a rose then, maybe it's a key. It's gotta be a key to something, either the ambulance or the car. Probably to the car, so we can then push the ambulance. Drip pole. Get it. Oh, it's her head. I should have known. You got a key in your eye socket? Is that what's happening? It's my severed head. Of course. What else could it be? Car key. Maybe I can start one of these cars with it? Yes. Ah, bye bye, my head. Okay. 
Use the car key on the car. Hopefully nothing's in the back seat. All right, let's ram this ambulance. Okay. We've done it. Now we can enter the tunnel. I can't wait to see what the Queen of Maggots really looks like. I can hear the sound of machinery coming from behind it. How did the Queen of Maggots construct all this? She's got a whole operation going down here. Probably got some other dead people to help her. Part-time construction workers before they return to real life. It's that symbol again. The symbol on the door looks familiar. I'm sure I've seen it before. We did see it uh, in the cabin. Well, hang on. Let's try to use it. It's probably... It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. What's up, Queen of Maggots? Where you at, girl? Oh. Is this the real Queen of Maggots? Not what I expected. Doesn't seem to notice me. Maybe it's blind. It looks like she's eating mannequins. Real queen of maggots. This monster. Could it really be a queen of maggots actually is? I don't know. Let's take a look at the corpse. This one seems to be holding something. Should we get it? He won't leave this one. Don't notice me. What happens when we hit use on Real Queen of Maggots? If I destroy this thing, will everything go back to the way it was? Probably not, by the way. No, my lord. Where are you, no, my lord? Uh oh. We've been found out. What? Well, we got the key now. So we can go in that door. This is like her food room. She loves eating that plastic. Okay. Apparently she summoned me back. Let's just go ahead and use the sigil key on the door. Lorelei! Come no. down here, would you? No one's here! Are you going to tell gonna me? She's going to get mad if she catches me fiddling with this door. I should try again later. She's going to get... She's going to get all gossipy about Jimmy the Traveler. She's going to be like, don't trust him. Where are you? Not making any more weird shark fin stew? Hi. The prodigal daughter returns. What took you so long? I'm not your daughter. <laughs> I got a little lost. I met this guy. He says his name is Jimmy the Traveler. Should I say that? I met this guy. He says his name is Jimmy the Traveler. Oh, yes. I've been meaning to take care of that culprit for a while. He has no business being here. He seems nice. That troublemaker has been lurking around for far too long. You didn't fall for his lies, did you? There we go. No, I have other things on my mind. Back in the real world. I got tricked. Give me another chance, I won't waste it this time. I mean, I want to come back to life and kill John. 
<laughs> also, Bethany needs us. I mean, we didn't waste it the first time. We just... How could we know that he would disguise himself as his cop's partner's dead body and then ambush both of us with a gun? How would we know that? This seems like a major choice, though. Hey, Queen of Maggots, give me another chance, please. Give me another chance. I won't waste it this time. We gotta kill him. Yes. We gotta kill him. But I did say another chance would not come free. Ooh. What do you want? I'd like you to play a game. I'm already doing that. I've been playing it for a long time myself. It's most entertaining. Well, as long as you put yourself in the right mind frame. But it'll be a good lesson for you. That life requires sacrifices. Okay, a game. I like games. But first I want you to understand what's at stake. Seal these candles. They're human lives. Mm -hmm. All's fine as long as they're lit. But around here, sometimes it takes the lightest of drafts to put them out. Now, these three here. It's Zach and Bethany, right? And so me. Special. I'm the one on the right. The first one burns for little Bethany. Innocent and helpless. The middle ones for Zack. Your goofy boyfriend to be. Goofy. And finally, you, Lorelei. It's out because I'm dead. Your flame's gone, of course. But we can make it burn again. We've done it once already. And let me guess. You want me to fetch something for you again? No, the price has gone up, dear. I told you it would. The task I have for you will be considerably harder this time. See all these unlit candles on the table? Pick one. Uh, okay. So many candles. Which one do I pick? I don't know. No. Light it up, Lorelei. With the broken lighter? My lighter's broken. Oh, we can light it on the already lit candle. <laughs> My mistake. Use candle on lit candle. Light it up. Oh, in the fireplace. Uh. It's burning nicely. Yeah, yeah. Light the candle. I've lit the candle. Let's see what story the flame has to tell. Okay. <laughs> I'm down, I guess. No. It's someone you've already met. A chef. His name is Al. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that rings a bell. His back was to us he the whole time. He works in the care home, right? Yes. You two never spoke, but... No. You will get to know him better than anyone. Why him? What's so special about Al? Hmm? There's nothing special about him. He's just a sad little man who likes to drink. His life has been slowly falling apart for quite some time. He tries to fix it, but you will make sure he fails. Okay. And if I don't? A life for a life. 
Lorelei. I think that nice young gentleman that adores you so much would even the scales. Just fine. Or I could take Bethany instead. Would that hurt you even more? Your choice, Lorelei. I see. Will you sacrifice their lives for a man you hardly know? Or simply help him to do what he wants? Yes, the one nice alcoholic drink. That will be enough for Al. Hardly a devil's work, is it? It is! <laughs> and how on earth do I do that? You'll be an invisible presence in his life. So I'm a ghost. A ghost. Following Al wherever he goes. Try whispering in his ear. Plant some bad thoughts in his mind. Sometimes that's enough to push them over the edge. But don't hesitate to break something either. He won't be able to see you after all. Be his misery. And make him drink again. Trust me, although Al might seem nice at first, he does not deserve a happy ending. Do I really have time for this? I have people that need me right now. They will wait. You have all the time in the world. Now, go through the mirror, my beautiful princess of maggots. Ah, uh, flattery will get you nowhere. Is that what I am now? All right. I can't tell if this is a prequel to the Cat Lady and Downfall or a sequel. I'm leaning towards sequel, but it just depends, I guess. How the story ends. Whoa. End of chapter? Or... Yeah. Achievement unlocked. Second chance. Chapter 5. Princess of Maggots. Oof. Okay. Well, uh, that is one we're going to tackle in the next video. Um, I'm not sure how far into the game we are, but next video might be the last. I'm not sure. It'll probably be a super long one. Uh, I'm not really comfortable doing too many videos on this series, so I think four videos to wrap up the series will be good if I can do it, but, uh, yeah, so, we played chapters three and four today, and we could do five and six, and maybe seven in the next one, I don't know how many there are, but seven sounds pretty good, anyway, alright, you guys don't need to hear all this. <laughs> Let me know what y'all uh, thought about this one, and uh, as usual, if you're enjoying the series, let me know. Um, try to get this next one out as soon as possible. Uh, I've been kind of slow this week, just some personal things going on that I've had to take care of. But I'm going to try to be consistent for the rest of the weekend. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.